Former Chief Justice of India, Justice P. Satasivam, has been appointed Governor of Kerala. He replaces Sheila Dixit, who stepped down last week. But there has been a growing controversy over this appointment. It's been questioned by the Congress. It's also been questioned by uh, Kerala High Court Advocates Association, saying that, uh, in fact, a governorship would be a come down for a former Chief Justice of India. Let's go right across to Sandeep Pukan joining us on that big story that's breaking right at this moment. Um, Sandeep, uh, what is it really that uh, uh, Mr. Shatashivam himself is saying at this point? The president, of course, going ahead and clearing the appointment, but a great deal of controversy over this for several days now. Well, uh, one reason, Ankita, is that this is perhaps, uh, this is in fact, not perhaps, but this is in fact the first instance when uh, a retired Chief Justice of India uh, is becoming or is accepting a governor of a state. Now, uh, as you pointed out, uh, many believe, many in the legal fraternity believes uh, that this is a come down of sorts because remember, uh, even the President of India uh, is sworn in. Uh, the oath of office is ad administered by the Chief Justice of India. So in, in our constitutional scheme of things, uh, in terms of hierarchy, uh, the Chief Justice of India is believed to be higher than that of a governor. That's, uh, that's primarily the argument made by the Kerala High Court Bar Association, who had earlier written to the President saying that uh, he should not appoint ju uh, former Chief Justice of India, Justice Sadasivam. But my colleague uh, Vaidyanathan Arunachalam, Vaidyanathan spoke to Justice uh, Sadasivam and he said that uh, he in fact defended uh, his uh, appointment. He, he, in his first reaction to NDTV, Justice Sadasivam said that uh, you know, uh, there is no harm in uh, accepting. He can always have good relations with the center and state. Uh, there, if, he, if he were not to accept this uh, position, then he would probably be doing farming in his hometown. Uh, so quite clearly, he is going to accept uh, this position uh, that, uh, from going by the initial reactions that he gave to my colleague Vedyanathan. But as I said, that uh, the issue has become somewhat political because the Congress questioned uh, the appointment yesterday saying that uh, when the BJP was in opposition, then the leader of opposition, Arun Jaitley, had actually uh, you know, said that judges should not be appointed, you know, there shouldn't be post-retirement jobs, uh, especially uh, you know, of political nature. So what happened to such stand uh, by Mr. Jaitley? Uh, these are things that are being questioned by uh, Congress. Uh, uh, Mr. Anand Sharma, the spokesperson for the Congress party yesterday said, what is it in the persona or decision of Justice Sadasivam that gladden the heart of the Prime Minister as well as BJP President Amit Shah. All right, thanks very much for that, uh, Sandeep. Uh, our colleague uh, Bhairavi also has uh, Congress MP from Kerala, Shashi Tharoor, uh, with her for the first Congress reaction after that appointment uh, was announced. Let's go across to her. On a day when 118 lawyers of the Kerala Bar Association wrote to the President asking that P. Satasivam not be appointed as the Governor of Kerala, well, it's happened today. And of course, we also know that the Congress has reacted sharply uh, to this. And joining me for more on this is Congressman Shashi Tharoor. Sir, your first reactions on this news coming in. Well, look, obviously the President is the last word on the subject. We have expressed concerns uh, on good and substantive grounds, which is that, uh, especially so recently after his retirement, for a Chief Justice to be appointed to a position like this uh, unnecessarily raises questions which, frankly, he himself would not want to have raised about his, uh, about his integrity or his, or his choice. And on top of that, the doubts expressed by the lawyers compounded by the fact that the Chief Minister has publicly said that he, unlike all previous gubernatorial appointments, was neither consulted nor, nor uh, uh, asked for his views before the name was publicly released, which is a, bre a breach of both protocol and precedent. So there were a number of concerns about this appointment. But once the President has announced his clearance and once the gentleman is sworn in as governor, of course we would have to cooperate with him. I don't think that there is any question of the Congress party sort of boycotting a governor. Uh, we respect the Constitution, we respect people in a constitutional position, but we do believe the appointment could have been handled very differently and far more wisely than it has been done. Right, but as uh, we were talking to Wayne Curry earlier also, but in principle the prerogative remains with the centre as you were saying, so in principle and it is in accordance with the norms, so it's not really, uh, you know, your opposition was not really to that, but it was to a certain uh, allegation of quid pro quo.
Well, look, frankly, if it, you know, somebody who had been Chief Justice three terms ago had been appointed, uh, it would not have looked so odd. Uh, it's simply that somebody who's just retired, uh, who has given judgments that have had certain political significance, particularly the judgment in the Amit Shah case, I don't want to cast doubt on his rather illustrious record as a judge in other ways. But this is not one of those positions that call for a judge. In a Human Rights Commission, you need a judge. Lokpal, you need a judge. Governorships, you don't need a judge. So it seems to be a political appointment and in that sense uh, politicizing the judiciary and particularly so recent a chief justice does not actually sound like a sensible way of proceeding. This was our concern. As I said, we as a party are not challenging the president's right, which means in, in effect the government's right to appoint whom they want. But we do believe they should have thought all this through before making such an appointment. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So there you have it from the Congress Shashi Taru saying this is, of course, a political appointment. And now that he has been appointed the governor, they will uh, not have, have any problems and they will cooperate with the governor. There is a person who's available who understands the Southern India polity, who has been apolitical and he became Chief Justice during the tenure. Uh, while Congress was in ruling and he was made a judge by the Congress party. So uh, why are they questioning the credibility of Justice Sadashivam simply because BJP appoints him?